Hey, Sneaky Linux back today. Yes, we're back with Bodhi Linux. Yeah, Bodhi. Where's Doyle? Bodhi Linux 1.3.0. But if you've got a previous version of Bodhi Linux, you don't actually need to install this one. You can update it, okay? But this is just all the new one with all the bits and bobs. I've shown you it lots of times before and other E17 distros. I'm just going to quickly go through it with you. Not much has changed. I still use Midori as its main browser, etc., 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 okay? But you've got the menu here. Or go to the menu here, wherever you want your menu. So we'll go from here. Under applications, we have accessories, preferences, programming, internet. Right, as I said before, you get Midori Web Browser as your main browser, browser with the webbit. Programming, we've got elementary test. I'm going to show you that. I've showed you that loads of times before. Under preferences, we get all the usual. Yeah, Synaptic is there if you know what you're doing for your software, that is. And if you don't, I'll show you something else that's a bit easier for you new people, okay? And the places, the usual, usual, usual. As you can see, you've got it in the box here for a change. Because I want to do this one pretty quick. So I've got to do lots and lots doing on other machines at the moment. We've well, got to take a screenshot, the desktop, which is virtual, and shelves. So you can add your own shelves and your own desktops, okay? I'm not sure any. I think I'd have to wait at one stage. But hey, you can clean up your windows and you lost windows. Bodhi Linux about. So I'll quickly press that. And it scrolls and Jeff's name comes up. Jeff 91. Does that mean he's 91 years old? I just don't know. Could do, couldn't it? I just don't know. Okay, back to the menu again. Bodhi Linux bit. Add software, artwork, quick start. Right, let's go to quick start. So we click there, and in theory, it should come up, and it does. Let me just quickly get rid of that. You'll notice with uh, Midori as your browser, what will actually happen is the page you was last viewing will be the page that will come up next. Okay, it's all right, though, isn't it? Don't mind. Well, it's a quick start guide, and it basically tells you everything you need to know about getting on the internet, installing software, the basics of E17. If you really want to do a video on E17, you could be here for quite a while. It could be up to a day, because it's so configurable, and there's lots and lots you can do to it. And so nobody's going to do that, because it's going to take too long. Then you've got the Bodhi Guide to Enlightenment. Um, do it all with everything. Why Midori, extras, and resources. Okay, so that's okay. We'll come out of that. We'll come back to it in a minute, but, you know, a minute, a minute. Oh God. Anyway, what was I? Oh yeah, add software. So if we click add software here, it also opens the web browser up. But this time we come to Bodhi Linux App Center. Basically, it uses the APT URL to get stuff for you instead of going to, to Synaptic, basically. So it's no big deal, really. But say you wanted the audio pack, okay? You click on audio pack, install now, bish, bosh, bish, done. It's 314 megabytes, so good bearing in mind, Jack's quite large. So he said when I see him last, anyway. Anyway, where was I? So if you want a different web browser, for instance, okay? You can choose Chromium, Firefox, an old Firefox as well, there. A Firefox for a tablet and Opera. Let's find another one. There's got to be some stuff here. Office, okay. Word processors, let's have a look. We've got, you've got Abbey Word there, or LibreOffice Libre Writer. Well, Abbey Word is only 34.1, so all you do is click Install Now. Let me wait. Word. Now, did I remember my password for this one? I can't remember. Let's try. Is it looking good? Is it looking good? No, wrong one. Let's try this one. Now, that one should be correctly. So here we go. Super of the duper. As you can see, it does the same stuff it does with the Synaptic Package Manager, really. So there's not much difference when you think about it, really, is there? No, of course it's not. No, it isn't. No, honest. So we wait for that to do. We're going to minimise that window. Do I want to install the software? Well, of course I do. So you click on Install, and you wait, and it starts downloading all our files we need for Abbey Word. So while that's doing that, we're going to go to another window. I think it'll take long at all there, actually, really, is it? We'll go back to our menu. <clears throat> if we go down to Enlightenment, we can get about Enlightenment, the themes, because you can change the themes, and download extra themes for Enlightenment. Also, you restart and your exit. Under settings, like we've got the old gadgets here, if you want to put some gadgets on, some modules and shelves, I've been through some of these before, and if we go to all, oh, see, and it's quick as well, under system, we've got that bit there we said before, preferences for preferred applications, launches for everything, input and output files, menus, windows, screen resolution, desktops, power management, your apps and everything on your bar, and your look and everything else, that's basically it really, when you think about it, that's it is really. I'm going to go back there, I'm going to go back there, Right, it's configuring that stuff in window number two. Won't take too long. See, it's really easy. 
But if you didn't want to do it that way, you could just go to Synaptic and do it that way anyway, all right? It's just to make it easier for certain users, because it does come as a small download now. It's got smaller and smaller and smaller as it's gone on. I think it's about 300 and something megabytes now. I remember it was about 400, and they've saved quite a bit off it. And Because basically they make it really basic. Basically as a basic thing can be. But it's still not as small as MacPup. And again, that is based on Puppy Linux. So it's doing kettle of fish, really, isn't it, when you think about it? So we'll go back to desktop one, and in theory, if we go to our menu here and our applications, under Office, we should have Abbey Word. There we go. And what version of Abbey Word have we got? It's 286, so it's not the most current version, but it will still do the job. Yes, it will. So, yeah, Bode Linux, if you're on E17, it's quite a few of them around at the moment, but E17 on a Ubuntu back, basically, give it a go. I'm going to be it. 80 out of 100. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.